Right then, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Peerless Assassin 120 or Black versus the Joyshark JF200. We've got thermals, we've also got a noise test as well as what are the differences. So make sure you continue to watch. And this is the Peerless Assassin Black at 50% fan speed. This is it at 100%. Well, this is the Joy Shark JF200. This is the noise test of 50%. And this is at 100%. Hmm. Right then, so for the PLS Assassin, now the tests I run with Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CP test. Now, remember that these high temperatures aren't representative for in gaming because games do not utilize the cpu as high as these synthetic benchmarks do now the cpu i was using is a 5900x overclock with pbo pbo so let's get into it for cinebench r23 the idols are 36 celsius with a max of 82 blender classroom the idols were 36 again with a max of 80 blender classroom the idols were 36 with a max of 81 3d mark cpu test the idols were 36 with a max of 78 celsius so for the joy shark now the idols were a little bit lower they were at 32 celsius and the max for cinebench r23 was 83 Blender Classroom, the idols again, 32 Celsius with a max of 80. Blender Classroom, the idols again, 32 Celsius with a max of 82. And 3D Mark CPU test, again, the idols with 32 Celsius with a max of 71 Celsius. Right then, so 
you saw the thermals you've also seen the differences between both coolers and you've also heard the noise test now yes the noise test isn't exactly done with the decibel meter but it gives you a rough idea of what it's going to sound like inside your case now what i will say in terms of both coolers the joy shark jf 200 is an over it's overly larger than the peeless assassin so it will hold out better when it comes to performance well obviously when the thermals it will hold out, out longer because it's a lot larger now i pulled them by here so you guys could see them now as you can see they're very similar but as you can see the joy shark is rather large now you can see that on the sides now yes it is it is thicker from by here you it is thicker the fins are a bit better i'd say on the pls assassin and overall joy shark's fans of course one is non-rgb the other is rgb but with the pls assassin at least they're both matching fans identical so at least you wouldn't have a mismatch when it comes to fans now in terms of the overall aesthetics joy shark does win there because it does have rgb temper glass on the top and if you saw the review of this you will see i will make sure to put a picture up here it looks absolutely stunning when lit up because the whole light the whole top of it lights up but with the pls assassin of course it does come in three different ways it comes with the non-rgb which is this one well actually this is the black version there's a basic thermal right one then it's the white one with rgb and then of course you get the black one with rgb but personally I like the blacked out look version of this. This looks a lot sleeker. So when it comes to Joy Shark, yeah, they won a tad a little bit when it comes in terms of thermals, but overall, the you know, the both of them are excellent coolers. One thing I will say was Joy Shark is definitely better though, is the base plate. Look at the size on that monster. It is absolutely humongous. Look at the size on that base plate. Now, yeah, they use very similar. When it comes to the overall mountain, very similar. They are, I believe, around the same area, I believe. But I'm not 100% sure. If you actually know the correct answer, then, of course, leave it down in the comments below. But because Joy Shark has started coming over in the United Kingdom, they've started showing up on like places like Amazon and stuff. So someone in the comments asked me to do this video to see which one would be, perform the best. Yeah, Joy Shark did win, but not by much. That could be margin of error because, of course, the weather at the moment in the UK is fluctuating from hot to cold. You know, it's going above, then it's going low. So, you know, it all depends on your ambient air. Also, it depends on what it's like in your actual area. Now, both coolers perform fantastically. I'd recommend both of them because... They're both good and they're both built very well. Now, of course, Thermorite is the more popular one and Joy Shark isn't. If you know Joy Shark, you probably know him from like the, the JF uh, 13K, the face down cooler. They're, that's what they're probably known for more. But I will say is they're both very good. I'll leave a link for both of them down below. Don't forget now that on Saturday, it's coming another PC build for you guys. This time, it's in a new case from Colink. I have got a couple of bits coming. I've got, I think it's like five or six items coming from Be Quiet. I've still got stuff. I've got stuff coming from another brand. And, of course, there's Thermorite stuff. They're on their way. It just takes time for them to hit the UK. So make sure you subscribe for more. This is Richard for Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And, as always, goodbye.